Next, let us discuss the diagnosis part. Now, in the diagnosis, first we have Alvarado scoring system. Alvarado Alvarado scoring system which is also termed as Mantrels. Now, what are the components? Have a look. M A N T R E L S. Now, this M it stands for migratory pain, migratory pain, and it is given a score of 1. A is anorexia, it is also given a score of 1. N is nausea and vomiting. It is also given score of 1. T is tenderness. Tenderness has a score of 2. R is rebound. Tenderness. And rebound tenderness has score of 1. Then E is elevated temperature. And again it has a score of 1. L is leukocytosis and it has a score of 2. After that, S is shift to left and it has score of 1. Now, if we add all these, it total comes out to be 10. So, this is mental score. Now, how we interpret it? Now, if the score is less than 5, it means not sure of appendicitis. If the score is between 5 to 6, it means compatible with appendicitis. If the score is between 6 to 9, it means probable appendicitis. And if the score is more than 9, it means confirmed appendicitis. Next important Investigation in the diagnosis of acute appendicitis is ultrasound abdomen. Now, what will be the characteristic finding on ultrasound abdomen? It will show a blind ended, non compressible, aperistaltic tubular structure in the right lower quadrant which arises from the base of cecum. So, ultrasound abdomen it will show a blind ended. Non compressible a peristaltic tubular structure arising from base of cecum. in the right lower abdomen so this will be the characteristic finding on ultrasound abdomen now next important investigation is cect abdomen and pelvis cect abdomen and pelvis and this CT scan, it is done if the diagnosis is in doubt. So, in case of diagnostic uncertainty, if diagnosis is in doubt, then we do a CT scan. And what will be the findings on CT scan? It will show a dirty, thickened, a dirty, thickened meso appendix. Then it can show appendicular phlegmon. Then appendicular fecolith. And a thickened cecum. Thickened cecum. Clear? Okay, next let us discuss the treatment part. Now, the treatment 
Now please remember that acute appendicitis is a surgical emergency so the treatment of choice in acute appendicitis is appendectomy. Now so acute appendicitis it is an emergency condition it is an emergency condition so you have to go for appendectomy. Clear? Now next we will discuss the treatment of appendicular lump which is also termed as appendicular mass or appendicular phlegmon. Now in this appendicular lump what happens there is localization of the infection by the omentum by the edematous cecum by the ileum and by the parietal peritoneum. So th the nature has already localized the infection. So if we disturbed this it can lead to formation of fecal fistula. So the treatment is conservative in case of appendicular lump. So what happens in appendicular lump th the infection is already localized by greater omentum. edematous cecum then ileum and parietal peritoneum so the nature has already localized the infection if we disturb it if we disturb it it can lead to formation of fecal fistula So the treatment in case of appendicular lump is conservative. The treatment is conservative and there is a regime which is termed as Oshner Sharon regime. Oshner-Sharon regime is used in case of appendicular lump. So in case of conservative management of appendicular lump, Oshner-Sharon regime is used. What are the components of this regime? Let us discuss the components of this regime. It includes monitoring of vitals, that is temperature, BP, and pulse rate then after that iv fluids are given to the patient simultaneously iv antibiotics and analgesics are started a nasogastric tube is inserted so nasogastric tube aspiration is done and what we do marking of the mass is done daily in order to see whether the mass is regressing with time or not. So another important thing is marking of the mass is important to identify the regression in size. Regression in size. And it has been seen that most of the patients they get symptomatically better in 48 to 72 hours after this regime is started. So most of the patients they are symptomatically typically better after 48 to 72 hours of this treatment so after this after this conservative management what we do Patient is discharged and is advised to come for follow up for interval appendectomy after 6 weeks. So after this patient is discharged and advised to come for follow up for interval appendectomy after 6 weeks. Okay. Clear. Okay, next let us discuss the complications of appendectomy. So, what are the complications of appendectomy? 
कॉम्प्लिकेशंस ऑफ अपेंडेक्टमी नाउ यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस निमोनिक टू लर्न द कॉम्प्लिकेशंस द निमोनिक इज ए पी पी ई एन डी आई एक्स नाउ दिस द निमोनिक इज अपेंडिक्स सो ए इज एडहीजन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन A is adhesion obstruction. P is paralytic ileus. Another P is pili phlebitis, or also called as portal pyemia. Portal pyemia. Then E is fecal fistula. Fecal. This E is fecal fistula. Then this N is not slippage. K N O T not slippage. Then D is direct inguinal hernia. Direct inguinal hernia. Then I is infection of the wound. 